not bad. Ahead of schedule. Right, 250 calories on the old watch, done by 9am. Now I have a few calls to make to get people set up on the old muscle food plans. So, I'm probably, probably getting my breath back. Okay, call's done for the morning and I am exhausted. It is now 11.46 and I've not eaten anything. Um, and so I'm very, very drained. Had a morning of calls with you lovely peeps, but now it is time to try something new. to refuel my body. Oh God. And it's all in the wrist. So you stir and flip, stir and flip. Other way, stir and flip. And then you go for it. Oh my days, everybody. This smells insane. Hang on. Shift that out of the way. So, we have my protein, Impact Whey Protein, in the chocolate mint flavour. I've heard very good things about this, but I've not had it in my oats as of yet. By the smell of it, it is not gonna disappoint. My mouth is watering, okay. Cheers. Woo, dropping it. It's very hot though, hang on. The suspense, okay. Oh, that's Still, still too hot. Okay, hang on. You know when something's too hot, but you just can't wait to try it. That is up there with with a favourite. If you like aero, oh, that's hot. Slipping out. Then this is the protein for you. Stick it in your oats. Nice heap scoop, accompanied with a fresh glass of OJ. And you're good. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this, man. <clears throat> okay, now that's done. We're gonna go for identity shot. Do I go for this color or um? Oh, it's not that big of a decision, Liam. Come on, um, these. And we'll go for this. Sugar, dun 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 dun. Oh, we started watching this, by the way. It's uh, it's really, really good. It's called Queen of the South. Full. Alphalete for today's session, identity shorts, which I hope they bring out new ones of soon. Vest here, cap here, got the vans on too. Six session, going down with the old man, upper body. Let go.
must admit, it is nice to to be kind of getting back into it properly, you know, like. My strength is kind of coming back, just the way I fit the fullness in my kind of physique, even though I am actually getting leaner in terms of body weight, um, it's coming back. I was actually the same body weight a couple of weeks back than I was a month ago, but actually I looked a hell of a lot worse a week ago than I did a month ago and I was the same body weight and that's just not right. And that just goes to show that when you do take a bit of time off, you have to take that time to kind of build back into it. Give yourself that time and not let it get in your head. I was actually talking with someone who has jumped on the muscle food plan only a couple of hours this morning who is basically saying that he knows that he's not able to lift as much as he used to. And that's okay. Whether that's from two weeks ago, two years ago, five friggin' decades ago, you are not going to be able to lift the exact same. As soon as you get back into the gym, you have to have these kind of little phases. And whether that takes two weeks, three weeks, six weeks, two, three months, it doesn't matter because in the long run you will benefit from it you will you just have to stick through it grit your teeth and kind of put up with being a bit shitty for a while but if you do push through that phase and not everybody does bear that in mind if you are the one if you're one of the few that pushes through that phase you will come out of it better stronger healthier and happier you have to remember this you just have to know that it's a process it's not gonna happen overnight nothing happens overnight six sessions so far let's hit some more numbers and get a good bump. it yep <laughs> oh that day I can't do anymore <laughs>
guys are thinking, why is he just trained with his top half for half of the freaking video? Well, first off, it's my home gym. I'll do what I freaking want. And second off, anyone can pick the perfect lighting, anyone can pick the, perf the perfect photo, anyone can pick the perfect angles. But in order to get an accurate, fair and honest reflection of where my current physique is, I figured what better way than open the freaking garage door, get some natural light in, so we're not focusing on these lights that are right up here. We're focusing on the natural light of the garage. We're coming in, we're doing the exercises as we usually would, holding myself like I usually would, posture, keeping my core nice and tight. That way you can get a real, true, honest, no BS reflection of what my physique is looking like right now. 170 pounds as of this morning is actually probably not as good as 169 pounds a few weeks back. Well, it's definitely not, it's heavier, but you guys get what I mean, like I don't look as full, I'm not quite back to where I was before. But we are actually ahead of schedule. We have a good 16, 17 weeks worth left of summer shredding. If you are new here, I personally like to take things very, very slowly. I work hard to put on the little amount of muscle mass that I actually have. So I want to maintain that. I want to take as slow possible amount of time, as, as much amount, I want to take it as, hang on. I want to take it as slowly as I possibly can. I want to take as much time as I possibly can to cut down. I have the chance to do that. I have no competition officially to kind of get ready for. It's not like July 20th, I have to be shredded. Like I'm getting lean one because I want to and two because of the summer shredding competition. It's not a full on bodybuilding competition, but it is something that I do want to look forward to and I do want to have as a kind of date and a goal in my head. I want to have that set in stone, right? So although not looking quite as good as we did a few weeks back, you know, I mean, these love handles still here. Another 10 pounds, there'll be a lot less. So if I'm being honest, I'm gonna grab my love handles here. This is how much we have, right? That's not ideal, but in 10 weeks when we look back at this, I'll show this exact same clip and you will think, oh, Wow, that's, that's some good progress right there. This is why you take photos. This is why you take progress pictures. This is why you take as many videos as you possibly can, photos as you possibly can throughout the entire process, right? Purely because it is gonna help you further down the line. There will be days. When you look in the mirror, you might have had a pizza a couple of days ago. You might have had a cheat meal. You might have not been to the gym. You might have not gone for that run that you usually would have done. And you will look at yourself. It's gonna happen. Happens to everyone. Happens to friggin' Mr. Olympia. You will look at yourself and go, not feeling my best today, not looking my best today. Might all be in your head, but then if you have pictures to look back on, that is what's gonna perk you back up and that is what's gonna help you. I recently made a four year transformation video and that personally gave me a right frigging kick up the ass. I was like, yes, Liam. I'm not gonna lie, I was like, Yes, Liam, I was buzzing. I was absolutely chuffed with myself. I looked at the progress that I had made over the past four years and thought, yes, considering all the circumstances, considering everything that I've done, the achievements I've done and all this kind of stuff in the meantime that would distract from the gym, because you gotta bear in mind, it's just a hobby for me. I'm like, fuck yeah. Hey, puppy. You okay? You okay? Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> Ooh. Just gotta eat these, you know, with an immediate effect after my workout. Otherwise, you know what happens, don't you? Absolutely nothing. Yes, you would be right. You would be right. One of the things I actually hate the most about the industry is this whole anabolic window malarkey. It is a complete myth. It's 2020. You would think it would be busted by now. It matters what happens over the days and over the weeks. Overall, average 20 minutes after your friggin' workout or you'll make no gains. Anyway, I'm going to try now um, this uh, muscle food. Grenade bar, I got it from Muscle Food. Um, carb killer in the new salted caramel, chocolate chip salted caramel flavor. I've not actually uh, tried this before. The most similar bars to this from my protein are the carb killer bars, uh, carb crusher bars, sorry. Whereas these are the grenade carb killer. Um, they've been around for a lot longer than the my protein ones, so they have a lot more extensive flavors. And this is my first ever taste test of the salted caramel one. I freaking love salted caramel. Getting a little cross section there. No, that tastes like everybody. That tastes like 
a chocolate chip sort of caramel bar from Grenade. Yep, that is really, really good. I'm not surprised one bit. Alrighty then, everybody. That is going to be it for today. That is my honest, no BS, complete straight up physique update at 100 and 70 pounds. I look forward to doing the same thing at 165, 160 and beyond. Obviously the goal long term is 159 pounds. Give me a minute though, we'll get there. I wanted to film this video because specifically um, I've not done something like this for a good two, three weeks, which is a lot of freaking videos for me. It's like 10, 12 videos. It's been about 10, 12 videos since I've done a video like this, hence why we've done it again. Obviously the goals have kind of changed, well not changed, the goals have been laid out now, so I wanted to kind of, um, Establish where we are at basically is I'm trying to think of a good way to say it I don't know if you have an idea for a video that you would like me to produce for you guys next Let me know in the comment section down below the next thing I'm probably gonna do is actually talk through that sheet properly I realized after getting a couple of questions in my DMS I realized that I didn't really explain it very well So I will go through it again properly kind of the dates and what we're, what weights we're gonna kind of aim for on what dates and all this kind of stuff um, And it'll make a little bit more sense. I, I hope so anyway, but that for now ladies and gentlemen will be it That is today's video if you have enjoyed it please drop it a like comment down below if you made it to this point in the video and you're not subscribed subscribe if you are new thank you so much for watching i appreciate you all thank you so much to everybody who jumped on board with the muscle food kind of diet plan six weeks summer shredding thing let me know if you have any questions on that in the comment section down below it is not too late to get involved so any questions hit me up it is about five to five now, so an hour and 10 minutes, an hour and five minutes, and Ghost actually launched an exclusive EU protein. So I'm gonna be getting on that, and you can expect a video come in for that very, very soon as well. So thank you all so much for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Together we will grow. Let's build that freaking momentum, people. Let's smash 75 likes on this video, and I will see you beautiful people in the next one. Still here. You're a legend.